In this video, I'll be showing you how I use my new products from my everyday journaling range inside my journal. I'll be using a range of stamps and die cuts, and I'm using a standard size traveler's notebook for these pages. These are some pages that I've already created using these two die cuts. And I'm now going to be using a die cut from the Wedding Planner range. So I'm going to stick this floral die cut all along the left hand side of my page. And I'm just using some clear PVA glue. And to tie in on the other side, I'm using a stamp from the Love Words and Doodles stamp set. And I'm using some Distress Oxide ink in frayed burlap. And this ties in with the die cut on the other page, but just adds a little contrast. I find that adding a border is a great way to start any journal pages. The next thing I'm doing is gluing down one of the die cut hearts and I'm then adding a photo of my dog that I printed off on an HP sprocket printer. I'm then going to turn my journal the other way round and I'll be stamping the words in love using black archival ink and I'll add that right next to the photo. I'm now using another stamp that says a life without love is no life at all and that's from the quotes of love stamp set. Because my journal's getting quite thick and bulky I didn't get a clear enough print so I decided to add the print onto some plain white paper and tear it out. And I'm using some Distress Oxide ink to just give a distressed look to the edges of the paper. And I will then glue that onto my journal page. Once that's firmly stuck down, I'm going to add some more stamping. And this time I'm using an underlay board to make sure that I get a clean print. And I'll be adding three different sets of hearts, which just gives a really nice look to the completed journal. The next thing I'm going to do is add some strips of washi tape. And I usually tear these, I don't worry too much about cutting. And I'm just adding some little bits of pink and lighter colours, which ties in to the photo that I've added to my page. I'm using a Tombow ABT brush pen to add some colour to the hearts and the word love. I'm now using a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib to letter in the words June 2019 and also the words Barney Bear, which is the nickname for our dog. And I love using these pens. It just adds a nice element to your journal writing. Finally, I'm using a black gel pen and I'm writing all about how much I missed our dog when we were on holiday. He's a huge part of our family and it always feels really strange when he's not around. I hope this video has given you some lovely ideas for pages that you could create in your own journal and you're excited to take a little time each day to document your daily life. 